Hey, what's up YouTube, your boy Chris. In this video, I will be showing you how to install the fog resistant lenses for the HJC I-90 helmet. Now this time of year, when it's cold outside and when you enter from a warm environment to a cold environment, it automatically fogs up your face shield. So the thing about the fog resistant lenses that I like is that it prevents the face shield from fogging up when you are breathing in your helmet. So if you're interested in installing the fog resistant lenses to the HJC I-90 helmet, stay tuned to this video and I'm going to show you guys how I install it. Let's get started. So looking at the fog resistant lenses by Penlock, it actually comes in several colors. You can get it in a clear, a light smoke, a dark smoke, and you can also get it in a yellow. Now, since I have the dark face shields, I will be installing the clear lens. And also for my nighttime shield, I will be installing the clear lens. So you can get them in different colors. I just prefer to get them in a clear. So I'm gonna show you guys how to get these installed. The part number will be listed in the description of this video. Part number PIN 635-202. And I will include that link to show you guys where to pick up the fall resistant lenses. So the first thing that I will be doing is putting on some gloves because I do not want the fingerprints and the oil from my fingers to get on the face shields or the lenses. So the first thing that I recommend is just to put on some rubber gloves. So next, the first thing will be opening the package. Get that opened up. And it gives you, so it gives you the directions on the inside of the packaging. If you want to look at that information, we'll set that to the side. So basically the way this is going to work, you got a plastic film on this lens and we're going to have to peel that plastic, that plastic covering off. So before we do that, I'm going to do it on the shield that I wear at nighttime. Now this is a brand new shield and you have these little pin locks on the side of the shield and how this is going to work. It's going to go on the inside and contour to the inside of that shield. So the first thing that I will do, I'm going to remove that outside plastic that comes on the helmet when you get it new. You just want to take your time and peel that plastic off if the lens is new. Just peel that outer shield. And you want to make sure that the helmet is nice and clean you could actually take some glass cleaner. Some guys like to use an um, F4. So whatever brand of window lens cleaner you guys use, you want to just clean that off real good. Clean it with a microfiber towel. Just take a nice clean microfiber, microfiber towel and you want to make sure you clean the lens real good if it's not new because you don't want your fingerprints in between the pin lock shield and the face shield. So make sure you clean it real good. Just going to lay out this towel. And basically how this is going to work, we're going to lay this flat like so. And 
So it's gonna actually go in like this and it's going to connect on those pins that's already comes pre-stalled on the I-90 face shields. And it also tells you remove this protective film before use. The curvy part goes to the bottom. The straight part goes to the top. So let's remove. So as you can see, there is a rubber gasket. The rubber gasket is going to go to the inner part of the face shield. So you want to remove that plastic. If you notice there's a rubber gasket, okay? That rubber gasket is going to go down. It's going to be on the bottom. So how I like to do this, and if you have two hands, if you have another set of hands, it's even better because you can get somebody to hold the face shield, kind of spread it apart. It'll be easier to install. But if you're just using one hand, you're going to have to just kind of bend it and contour it and slide it up in that pin lock. I like to kind of bow it down and then kind of get it up under there. Now I'm going to spread the, the shield and let it kind of lay down. Kind of like putting on window tint. So that gasket that's on the pin lock shield it's going to create a shield between the face shield and the pin lock shield. And basically the way it will work is even though it's cold or warm around the shield, this seal is going to prevent any air from getting in and causing the moisture to fog up the face shield. So you just want to press it in. And that's pretty much it. And this is how you install. You want to make sure that that you want to make sure that the face shield is good and clean. You don't want to get any lint because whatever is on the face shield will get trapped in the in that void space. So make sure you clean it real good. OK, next we're going to do the tenant shield. So to remove the face shield from the helmet, you want to let you want to lift the outer shield all the way up. Just bring it all the way up to its highest position. On the side, there is a latch. You want to pull it down. OK, it releases it. Do the same to the other side at its highest point. Pull down the latch. face shield comes off. Okay, next we need to clean this face shield with the microfiber towel. So the glass cleaner that I'm using, I'm actually using invisible glass. That's what I like to use. Um, if you have F4 custom windshield cleaner, that will work great too. And I'm going to get this face shield nice and clean. And like I said, I like to use rubber gloves because when you're working with just your fingers, you're going to have moisture or sweat from your fingers. And you don't want that getting on the face shield being trapped in between the pin lock and the face shield. So I'm going to make it nice and clean. You want to make sure it's dry. No lint, no fingerprints. I'm 
and just check it to make sure that there's no lint, there's no fingerprints. Okay. So next we're going to take the the pin lock shield. Okay, so now we're going to take the pin lock shield. We're going to remove the outer plastic. You don't you do not have to remove the plastic to install it. I just like to remove it so I can have some uh, clear vision of where everything is going. And if you have another set of hands, that works even better. Therefore, you can spread the face shield if you have another set of hands. But when you're working by yourself, you just want to take your time, locate that pin lock. Slide it into place. Okay, now I'm going to fold the, I'm going to spread the face shield. Kind of bending the kind of bending the pin lock into place. And now it's got that little bubble in there. I'm just gonna spread the face shield and press down on the pin lock. Now I can bring the face shield back to its original position. You want to make sure that that gasket so you want to make sure that there's no gap under that gasket because when you breathe your breath will go up under this pin lock or inner shield and it'll get trapped between the outer shield and the pin lock shield and it'll cause fog. So if you install it correctly, you're not going to get the fog on the shield. It's going to always stay clear and that gasket will eventually settle and it'll sit down on that face shield. And now to reinstall it, I'm going to go back to the highest position. I'm going to press in. You could actually see the tab here. You want to get that tab lined up. Now you can do it. You can also press down on the latch. Press in. I'm gonna find that tab. Press in. And the good thing I like about this is in the winter time when you go out and it's cold outside and it's been warm in your house, the face shield is not gonna fog up. It just prevents that face shield from fogging. Again, open up the outer shield to the highest position, pull down on that latch. Okay, turn it around. Make sure it's in the highest position. Pull that latch. Face shield comes right off. I'm going to clean the shield with my, my glass cleaner. 
I'm using invisible glass. What do you guys use to clean your face shields? Are you using invisible glass? Are you using F4 windshield cleaner? What are you using to clean your, your face shields on your helmet? I like to use invisible glass. It doesn't leave any streaks and you can buy right at your local parts store. You can get it at AutoZone, you can get it at Napa. You don't have to order it online. I'm gonna open up the pin lock packaging. Now, again, you want to make sure that that gasket is going to be on the bottom because that silicone gasket is going to press up against the face shield. So I'm going to remove the protective film. There's one little piece of lint. And like I said, you just want to make sure that nothing is on that because you don't want it trapped in between the, the inner pinlock shield and the outer face shield. So make sure it's nice and clean. Put my rubber gloves on. I'm just gonna bend, I'm just gonna bend the pinlock shield into place. I'm gonna spread it with my other hand, kind of bend the pinlock shield, being careful not to scratch the lens. Now you can kind of spread it and If you had two hands, that makes it so much easier. Now, and I'm gonna lay it flat, and now I can press down that silicone seal. Make sure no air is being trapped inside of that. Now I can reinstall the face shield, lining up that tab with the tab on the helmet at its highest position. Snap it in, bringing it around. To the highest position. snapping that helmet into place. This is gonna conclude the video of me installing the fog resistance pin lock shield for the HJC I-90 helmet. And they also make pin lock fog shields for other helmets as well. I will include a link in the description of this video of where you guys could pick up the fog resistant lenses for the HJC I named the helmet. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it actually helped some of you guys out. If you have any questions or any comments, feel free to put it down in the comment section below. If you like this video, be sure to click the like button and be sure to click that bell notification and it will notify you every time I post a new video. This is your boy Chris, just showing you how I install the fog resistant lenses 
for the HJC I-90 helmet. And I will, as always, I will talk to you guys later. See you.